Hello, I am Sue Phillips and my company is Centerprises. I'm a true entrepreneur and I call myself a Santrepreneur, an entrepreneur with scent. My company has been creating custom fragrance experiences for 12 years and what do we do? We actually create custom fragrance experiences. We do corporate events, team building events, and we help people understand the magic and the mystery of fragrance. You know, fragrance has been around for thousands of years and the bespoke or custom creation aspect of fragrance has really been the domain of wealthy people, high net worth individuals and celebrities and royalty. And what we do is create an affordable but luxurious experience. Come, let's, let me show you my boutique. my fragrance boutique on the Upper East Side of Manhattan, which is by appointment. I was in Dubai last year and a company said to me, Sue, we think you can be the Joe Malone of America. I want to be the Sue Phillips of the world. I'm originally from South Africa. I was in the theater world and came to America on a vacation and fell in love with the energy and the vitality of America for the bicentennial celebration. And at the end of the year, I was offered a position at Elizabeth Arden and I love the fact that fragrance and cosmetics and theater are so synergistic. So because of my theatrical background, I was offered a position in training for fragrance and I became the national training director at Elizabeth Arden. I was traveling around the country for two years. Then they promoted me to color cosmetics. What girl doesn't love color cosmetics? And then finally marketing. After six years at Arden, Lancome hired me as marketing director for fragrance and men's skincare Yes, men need skincare too. And then Tiffany hired me as executive vice president. If you'd have told me growing up in South Africa that one day I would be executive vice president of Tiffany, I'd say, you're crazy. But that's what happened. And this is the fragrance that I created for the original 150th anniversary. This was an absolute labor of love. And this is the original fragrance bottle. And you can see the beautiful Tiffany bottle, Art Deco bottle. And on top of the eye, I actually put a diamond above the eye and gave it as a gift to all the executives for the 150th anniversary, which came out of my cost center. So after I left Tiffany, I started my consulting company, which I called Centerprises, Scent and Enterprises. And I created fragrances for Avon, for Burberry, for Trish McAvoy. And became a global fragrance consultant. In 2008, the economy crashed and I had to really rethink things. So I started the bespoke or custom fragrance aspect of my business at a time when people in America didn't even know what bespoke meant. And eventually I opened a very small boutique downtown in Tribeca called The Centarium. And the whole idea of bespoke or customization started to develop. I was at the forefront of customization and landed up really creating magnificent fragrances for individuals who wanted to reflect their individuality and personality. So much so that people like Jamie Foxx found me, Katie Holmes, Zendaya, Susan Sarandon, and everything was going swimmingly and beautifully. And we did corporate events and team building events, all with these fragrances. So I had developed 18 different perfumes which span the entire olfactor family. And I created these fragrances based on my 18 fragrance blends. So the big idea was for me to create a custom fragrance business, to have fragrance ambassadors around the country do what I do. But sadly in 2020, everything went south. Of course the pandemic came and my big idea to build my business and to scale my business sadly came to an abrupt end. So always being resilient and always trying to re-engineer my situation, I put pen to paper 
and I wrote my book called The Power of Perfume, which is a really interesting read all about the history of perfume, how to wear it, where to wear it, the difference between perfume, eau de parfum, eau de toilette, eau de cologne, and also just a really wonderful introduction to the art of perfumery. Well, fortunately, NBC wanted to do a story about the book and they asked me before the interview if I could help somebody who was a long hauler regain her sense of smell. She had not been able to smell for 15 months and uh, I took her on a fragrance journey which I now call a scent healing journey with all these fragrances and she kept on smelling and sniffing and sniffing and smelling and nothing worked until she got to the 14th fragrance and she suddenly said with tears in her eyes, I smell something and it's beautiful and she started to cry. It was such a powerful emotional moment because for 15 months this woman had not been able to smell a thing and suddenly she was able to regain her olfactory sense. So it was very powerful, the story went viral, uh, we had tons of press and articles and people contact, contacting us around the country and I've now helped 250 people regain their sense of smell. So I created a scent healing kit because so many people couldn't come to New York to meet with me and they really were desperate to regain their sense of smell. So this is a miniature version of the 18 blends that I created. And this is a scent healing kit, which actually doesn't even have the names, just the numbers. So we really want to stimulate the brain to connect with the olfactory bulb. And when people take the scent healing kit, they see the scent blend chart. And I also recorded a video of the scent healing journey, which is on YouTube, which is very powerful and very effective for people looking to regain their sense of smell. So as a result of the scent healing initiative that I've developed, I was asked to collaborate on a book with a neuroscientist from Canada. And I'm very excited and very honored that a neuroscientist would contact me to collaborate on a book, which we are working on, which will be published by the end of May. So this is very exciting that suddenly my passion for fragrance is really helping people to regain their sense of smell. And it will be on a much broader level now because I have the backing and the uh, expertise of a neuroscientist who will be talking from a scientific standpoint and me from the creative olfactory standpoint. So with the 18 perfume blends that I developed, we offer them in our really wonderful, interactive, fun, multi-sensory atomizers, which we call Twist and Swivel. So these are travel size purse sprays that come in the gold, the black, and the silver. And they're really terrific because they are travel sizes. You can see how much fragrance is in them and they are refillable. And these come in a lovely velvet, luxurious velvet pouch. So the five artisan scents that I created for Scent Bird come from the 18 fragrances. This is a fresh blend. It's citrus, it's got green, it's sporty notes, it's ozonic notes. It's the best selling one and it is absolutely vibrant and exuberant and quite delicious and very spring and summer friendly. Then we have the floral. So this floral is a beautiful range of floral notes, rose, jasmine, lily of the valley, frangipani, very sophisticated, very feminine. Our fruity note, our fruity blend is just absolutely scrumptious. It's perfect for summer, it's ideal for young people, and it has lovely notes of strawberry and berries and pomegranate. It is luscious, it's edible. It is absolutely delicious. So now we move into the spicy blend, which is beautiful. It's very sensual. It's very exotic. It's got notes of cinnamon and nutmeg and cumin and coriander and a wonderful vanilla note. And this is ideal for the end of the day when you're sitting with say mulled wine and you just want to enjoy maybe even a fireplace or something luscious. And finally, we have the woodsy blend, the artisan scent, which is a combination of sandalwood and birchwood and cedarwood. All these fragrances are high quality perfume and they really consider the fragrance family that people love. I am passionate about my business. I'm a single woman owned entrepreneur and I'm in it 150%. I never give up and I intend to be the global fragrance world domination of fragrances, high quality, beautiful fragrances. So that's because I really believe that there is magic and mystery to fragrance. It has been absolutely shown that 
our sense of smell and our sense of taste are absolutely pivotal for a beautiful lifestyle and the lifestyle for enjoyment. Without our sense of smell, there's no sense of taste. So I would like to say that our sense of smell is the most important sense that we have. And when you create a fragrance and you apply a fragrance, it absolutely can give you a sense of well-being and a sense of confidence. Drop by.